I really focus on where that hammer is going to go, getting the piece where I want it, in the right place on the anvil or the horn, getting that hammer to that place. For roughly four decades, Ron Washburn has been forging steel. Much of his work done here, in a shop next to his home in Cataldo. A teacher by trade. Yeah, I taught music for 28 years. Ron does this part time. Usually try to smith, you know, uh, several days a week, two, three hours a day. Time he uses to stay sharp and hone his skills. These days, his shop is filled with the tools of this centuries old trade. But they're all for a specific, specific job. This is, this is kind of like for a ball. These are all tongs that I have just collected. This is a machinist hammer. It's, it's, it's a good striker's hammer on the other side of the anvil. His latest addition to the growing garage of tools is this machine. Okay, this is called a fly press. Unusual because you sit to use it. And here's a bottom tool to put an arc in something. For rings, Ron uses a cone. Throw it on here and use the tongs and pound it round. And when circles didn't satisfy him, Ron the blacksmith became Ron the inventor. So I thought, what if you wanted to make a, you know, a uh, square ring? So I came up with this guy right here. What started out as a hobby is now a way of life. And it all began with a book and then another. This book is Professional Smithing by Donald Streeter. He shows you how to make a an axe. Never um, taken lessons or anything like that. It's just, you know, mostly, mostly uh, self-taught, yeah. His only teacher, the text in these books. I burn holes in the pages of the book, you know. <laughs> and the determination to figure it out. You know, I look through some of the books I have and I just, how do they ever do that? And that's, that just keeps me interested. Like a puzzle, Ron says. One he is still trying to solve. And there's just an awful lot of thought that goes into this, and that I'm just attracted by it. I'm amazed at uh, what people can come up with. It's quite intellectual. Much like the blacksmiths before him, Ron uses the same simple techniques. It doesn't make any difference if it's a butterfly hinge or, or whatever it is. It still has a pin, you know, it's still done in the, in the same way. There's still a lot of hammer work, and I, I concentrate, I'm down there, right where the hammer meets the, uh, right meets the steel. And after years of smithing, those basic moves are now ingrained in Ron, like marks on metal. And I can feel that, but I can see it, you just sense it, you can feel it under your hammer. Part art and part science. And I will do seven blows on one side, flip it, and do seven more blows. If you want to be good at it, I think you just have to be tremendously consistent and conscious of that. One way Ron can be consistent is by using a gas forge heated to 1,600 degrees, not the coal fire of days gone by. You can burn the tip off the tine, just, just like that. It'll just burn off. And then you have to throw the whole thing away. The finished work of a blacksmith is as diverse as the man swinging the hammer. Ron leans toward the historic. He showed us one of his favorite projects. Okay, we're going to produce a colonial style fork. From forge to anvil and back again. Ron pounds, files, brushes, splits and curls. Okay, it looks like a fork to create the colonial style fork he'll eventually sell at a craft fair. So I can sell a um, uh, fork and a flipper for $50. But it's not money that is the reward. It's the simple joy of doing. It's very satisfying. You know, I can be, um, oh, I can be upset about something and I can go out and start a fire and I can start, you know, doing moving metal around and, and I can pretty soon I get into it and it's, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really good therapy. It's a form of escape. You're using tools that, you know, that are 150 years old and it has an effect on you. At age 64, this Smith is far from finished, not nearly ready to retire. You know, I've seen some awfully old blacksmiths, you know, really, really old in their 80s. And uh, 
These, yeah, they, they're still swinging again. And when he does finally turn out the forge the final time, Ron knows this craft will continue. Metal smithing is, is going to be around as long as we are. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.